In a few moments, Dennis Matthews and I are going to play the sonata by Beethoven for horn and pianoforte. Now, though you may be very familiar with the pianoforte, this instrument, the horn, you may not know quite so much about, and so I would like to tell you something about it. It's funny, it kind of, it kind of dictates yeah. for you to kind of... You don't have a choice, do you? No, that's all those... The, all those, all those pictures of Dennis Brain yeah, like with, this. With a strange hand position as well. Yes. A really kind of open sort of kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's, it's a ring. It's a beautiful, warm yeah. sound that it has. And that kind of almost buttery quality to yeah. it. You know, that, yeah. that really kind of, you can kind of like go between the notes very, very yeah, smoothly. It glides very, very easily, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay, so being being a lower horn, I know this is a single B flat, but I'm always curious about <laughs> how it does in the low register. I'm not quite yeah. sure. Okay, so it does feel a bit honky down there. Yeah. But it's not really designed, I mean, he never, you know, he didn't no. necessarily need that. Actually, so. he, was, he was instrumental in um, designing with Paxman's, um, the, the descant horn, um, because he was, and there's one famous Haydn operatic aria that goes up to a written D, high D, um, to our top, top G, so, um, yeah. yeah. So, so the, I mean, the descant horn being this B flat and then an extra. A high F alto, yes. Which yeah. is normally the, the double horn would be the low the F. The low is sort of in re, almost in reverse, yeah. So I don't really use the descant a huge amount, mm -hmm. um, but I use it as a sort of safety net sometimes for a commercial work where sometimes someone who really should know better has written something that sounds like a, like a trumpet part. Um, nine times out of ten, you can discreetly say to them, I think this might sound better either down the octave or on the trumpet. And they're very, they're very happy and keen to say, oh, thank you very much for your input. But every now and again, they sometimes say, no, I want to try it on the horn. Mm -hmm. So then you have that, that, that little bit, yeah, if you like a safety net. But I think this would be the instrument that he recorded both the, the Strauss horn concertos with the Philharmonia with um, oh, Savage. Really? So, uh, so that would have been it. A little bit stuffy, <laughs> but, but yeah, it's nice to play. Yeah. yeah, as you say, it has a lovely legato feel. Yeah, it, you know, you're able to sort of almost blow over the valves. They're very, very seamless sort of quality to the, to the legato playing. <laughs> 